Hello, today we're going to change some units again. And like we talked about yesterday, it has kind of a complicated sounding name, but it's dimensional analysis is technically what we are working on. So write that in your notes, dimensional analysis, part two. Okay, sounds complicated, but it's really not that bad. You're just keeping your units in with your numbers and it makes it so you can kind of double check that things divide out the right way and that you've put, you've divided when you should divide and you've multiplied when you should multiply. Let's talk about which units we're going to be switching around. Today we're going to be using one hour equals 60 seconds. We're also going to be using one yard equals three feet. Okay, so for the first problem, we're going to end up changing. So go ahead and write down change two feet per minute. Two, and I'll change the color maybe for this, or I'll highlight that one in purple. And let's find green. So we're changing two feet feet per minute to yards per hour. Okay. So we're going to start off with what we have right here. You put that on top. So two feet per means you can make it a fraction like that, two feet for every minute. And just remember when you see minute by itself, it means one minute. And we wanna change it to yards per hour. So that means these feet need to go to yards. So let's look at what we have. One yard equals three feet. And remember, you have to have the units diagonal from each other. So when you see feet up here, it means I want to put my the feet part right here on the bottom. Then on top, I'm going to put what the three feet equal, which is one yard. Okay, so we've got that part. And let's just kind of double check. Feet, feet, good. So we end up with yards. However, we still want to change this minute. And we want to change it to... Oh, I, put, I just realized I put one yard, one hour equals 60 seconds. Now that is not true. So one hour equals 60 minutes. So if you accidentally copied my error, go ahead and fix it now. We wanna change minutes to hours. And so we're going to say 60 minutes has to be diagonal from this part right here. So I'm gonna put 60 minutes on top. And that's the same as one hour. We put in our chart here. Okay, let's just double check that these are gonna cross out. Um, we've got minutes over here on the lower left, minutes over here on the upper right, and we're left with yards per hour, which is what we want, yards per hour. Now, this time we're going to just multiply everything. Yesterday I crossed out the fractions. This time I'd like you to just kind of see another way to do this is just write down all the numbers you have on top multiplied together with the units you have left. And on the bottom, all your numbers multiplied together, one times three times one is just three. And we were left with hours. Always multiply before you divide. And so, well, when you have this kind of fraction bar thing like this. You always want to do the top separate and the bottom separate. So we end up with 120 yards over three hours. And when you divide 120 by three, you can punch that into your calculator and you get 40 yards per hour. And remember that means, it's usually said per like that. Okay, so this was example number one. For example number two, we're going to change. So 
So this person works a little faster and they can complete three feet per minute. And we're gonna change that to yards per hour once again. Okay, we're gonna use the same chart here. On my screen, I'm gonna have to scroll down. You still have it on your page. So you could just, oops, didn't mean to take all that with it. Oh well, it'll work. There's that, okay. You can still see your chart on your page, but since mine zoomed in, I'm gonna move it down. So three feet per minute. We know where to start, right? We're gonna take our three feet right here. Put it right there on the top. It's usually shorter to use the abbreviations for the units, so three FT for feet, and then per one minute. We want to change to yards per hour, so it doesn't really matter which one you start with. I'm gonna start here right here with the yards per three feet. So feet has to match up with feet diagonally. Looks good. And there's one yard for every three feet. And now we're going to look at the minutes because these have crossed off successfully, right? And now minutes, we have 60 minutes equal to one hour. And since minutes is down here on the bottom, we want to put 60 minutes here on the top for one hour. And let's just double check this crosses off. Minutes, minutes, so I'm left with yards per hour, which is what we wanted. Now I was gonna multiply it out like we did last time, however, I also noticed we have three on top right here, and we also have three on the bottom right here. Just like with your units, if you have the same number on top and the same number on the bottom and they're all multiplied together, you can just cross those out right now. A little bit less math for us to calculate later. So we're left with 60 on top. And all we're left with is one on the bottom. So really it's just 60. Look for our units. It looks like it is yards. 60 yards per one. What's left? Hour. And typically you see this as 60 yards per hour like that. All right, that's it for today. I have just a couple of problems for, for you to work out on your page and then answer the answers on Jupyter just to check your work. And that's how you submit your assignment. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, bye.